everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a what do I eat in a day. I thought that I would just film what I'm going to eat today um, because I've had a couple of requests recently to film another one of these. I have done a few before which I'll leave linked below if you're interested. But yes, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here then I'm Helen, I'm a mum to my son Arthur who is almost 19 months old now um, and I post lots of videos about motherhood and lifestyle, food hauls and these kind of videos too. If you do like watching this type of video then do let me know in the comments below and I can do them a bit more often. But yes, I really hope that you enjoy seeing everything that I'm going to eat today. I'm just in the house today, apart from like going for walks and stuff, we're not going out. So hopefully there'll be like a good range of food to show you. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoy it and yes, let's get into it. For breakfast I just have two Weetabix um, and then a few extra crumbs, so, so I always pour the crumbs in, I've got Arthur here, um, strawberries, banana, raspberries with rice milk and then just a glass of water as well and that is my breakfast. And there's Arthur eating his breakfast, you want to get in on the video? Can you say hello? Yeah. <laughs> so I just went out for a walk with Arthur um, and I didn't film it. I forgot, but I did take one of these with me, so the cocoa or cacao, cacao and orange oat bars, they're really nice. I haven't had much water to be honest, it's a bit tricky because Arthur's obviously like able to like walk around the room and he can reach the windowsill or a table if I put a glass there, so I end up not drinking very much, so haven't really had much. Um, but it's lunchtime now, so I will just show you what we're going to have for lunch. So this is my lunch, it's a bit of a random one, um, usually on these videos I do something a bit more interesting but we had eggs yesterday so it's just a bit of a plainer one so I've just got two pieces of um, whole grain or seeded toast there with peanut butter, I've got some crisps there, it looks like uh, I've got like a mix of two bags there, me and Matt are like sharing, uh, they're not my favourite, they're cheese and onion and they're sour cream, neither I, I love but they're okay and then I've also got half an apple and then Matt is just gonna cut me some of my dairy free cheese and then that is it for now and then hopefully later on I'll have a cup of tea as well. Jesus. I thought that I would just come on and quickly say I did, also I ate all of my lunch um, but I did have a little bit of Arthur's as well so I had the crusts off his bread and I did have like a little triangle of extra toast. Um, it kind of happens when you're a mum I think, obviously Arthur doesn't, well not obviously, some babies don't eat all of their food, Arthur definitely doesn't, or he isn't at the moment. So I end up having his leftovers and yeah I do still cut the crusts off so pretty much me and my husband usually like share them but I had all of them today. But anyway that's it, I had a whole glass of water and I've started another one as well. Um, and Arthur is due a nap soon so when he is asleep um, my husband will probably come down because he's working from home upstairs. He'll go, come down and then, then just make us a cup of tea and we'll have some biscuits or something and I'll just have that when Arthur is asleep. But yeah, that's it for now, so I'll see you a bit later. now Arthur hasn't long woken up and we've just got time for a quick snack um, before it's too late it's about it's about three half three now so I've just got some yogurt and I've just put some honey in it I used to have this like a little while ago 
quite often. Um, and I'd also have some crushed seeds, like milled linseed and pumpkin and sunflower, like a mix that I bought from Aldi, but I think it's a bit old now. I have actually got it in the cupboard. I'm not gonna have it, so I've just got honey in my yogurt. Haven't had yogurt for a little while because Arthur loves it and I usually don't get a look in, but he is having some of Matt's yogurt today, so I'm actually getting to have some of mine. So yeah, this is just gonna be a little snack. Again, I'm just gonna have water. Um, you did see I did have a cup of tea and some biscuits like an hour ago or, or something like that, which was nice. But yeah, I just get a little bit peckish again. It's just nice to have something to kind of like tide me over until tea time. Our tea now so you probably will have seen what we are having but I'll just show you anyway so I've got two sausages there and half a burger so Arthur has his own sausage and the other half of that burger but obviously two sausages wasn't quite enough for me so I've got two and a half things there I've just got some boiled potato um, I've got broccoli car carrots peas leek and gravy and that is it and I'm just gonna have that with yet again water so we've had our tea now, and as you saw, I didn't mention before, but we did use the air fryer to cook the sausages and burgers in. It's just a lot easier, I'm finding. It also seems to cook things quicker too, and it just saves a lot of energy. So we are starting to use the air fryer a lot more, not just for chips and wedges, which we were doing. But anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye now, um, not because I finished eating for the day, but just because we are going to get Arthur up to bed in not too longer time. Um, so once we are up, Matt will bring me up a cup of tea and biscuit because I just stay up there now. Um, and yeah, like I might have a bowl of cereal, probably something like that. So I really hope that you enjoyed seeing why eat in a day. Please do give my channel a subscribe if you like watching motherhood lifestyle, food hauls and these kind of videos. I would really love to have you here and thank you for your support in advance. But yes, please do give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I really hope to see you in my next one. But thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.